Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to show the electron configuration of copper and silver. And they are both exceptions to the diagonal rule. If you set up the diagonal rule, you draw in your S's, 1 through 7, then your P's, then your D's, then your F's. And the S orbitals can hold up to 2. The P orbitals can hold up to 6. The d orbitals can hold up to 10, and the f orbitals can hold up to 14. And you go up by 4 each time. So let's get started, started with copper. Copper has an atomic number of 29, so it has 29 electrons. So I will start at the 1s, so I will go 1s2, then 2s2, then 2p6, then 3s2, then 3p6, and then you would normally go 4s2, and that would leave you 9 electrons left, so it would be 3d9. But instead, copper prefers, and is more stable, if you have 4s1, and then 3d10. And here it is written as a noble gas. Silver follows a very similar pattern. It has 47 electrons, so it has, excuse me, atomic number of 47, so it has 47 electrons. You start at 1s, it has 1s2, then 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, and then normally you would have 5s2, and then a 4d9. But instead, it is very similar to copper. You have a 5s1, and then one electron moves to the d orbital, then you have 4d10. And here it is written as a noble gas. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.